I am back in Austin for a weekend. It was for a baby shower. It was for my friends, not my wife and I. Although we definitely do want kids in the future. Hi, I'm Jeffrey, physical therapist, and welcome to Life of a PT. As you grow older, you go from attending a bunch of weddings to now attending baby showers. My friend's baby shower was in Austin, so my wife and I made a short trip to Austin to attend. For those who remember, I went to UT Austin for college, so it's always a bit nostalgic being back here in Austin. We drove up Saturday morning and ate lunch at Coco's Cafe, which is Taiwanese food. My wife loves their peppercorn chicken with rice, and as someone born in Taiwan, I approve as well. The baby shower was hosted in this beautiful home. There were lots of snacks and desserts. I'm actually very excited for my friend to be a dad. I'm excited for both my friends to be parents. And I've actually known this friend since middle school. So knowing him as kids to now he's actually having a kid of his own is pretty crazy to think about. After that baby shower, we went to grab some boba at Chicha San Chen. Last time when I was in Austin, we visited this boba place as well. But back then, they were out of many different drink options and they didn't even have the strings that kind of hold the, the cups in place. This time around, Chicha San Chen definitely redeemed themselves and the drinks were actually pretty good. For dinner, we ate ramen at Sazan, which is still one of the best ramen places I've ever had. The chicken python ramen, delicious. We recently finished watching The Paradox Killer on Netflix, another Korean series. It wasn't as good as I thought because all the ratings were very high, but it wasn't, it wasn't a bad watch still, uh, 7.3 out of 10. My wife and I barely spent much time in Austin. It was a short trip, but in that limited time, we still had a good time, spent some good quality time together. The next day, on the way back to Houston, we stopped by a poke place in Katy, which also had pretty good reviews, but it turned out not too good. They gave very little amount of the fish, like three scoops for a large. Usually, we, we have a poke place in Chinatown, which gives five scoops for a large, and the toppings were pretty mediocre. The following week, on the weekday, we celebrated my brother-in-law's birthday after work. It was at an Italian restaurant, which was supposed to be pretty authentic. I got a pesto pasta dish, and I was expecting it to be bursting with flavor, but it turned out a little bit bland. It wasn't bad, but it just wasn't what I had expected. native or more authentic Italian food is supposed to be more bland. This will wrap up this week's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch my last vlog on my students finale.